Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be completing the quest The Fremenic Exiles. The quest requirements are Fremenic Isles, Lunar Diplomacy, Mountain Daughter, and Heroes Quest. And the stat requirements are 55 Runecraft, 60 Fishing, 60 Smithing, 60 Slayer, and 65 Crafting. For the items needed are 650 Coins, Molten Glass, 100 Astral Runes, a regular or a fly fishing rod, ice gloves, a hammer, glass blowing pipe, any kind of pickaxe that you can use, and a seal of passage if you need any, if you have not completed the Fremenic Elite Diary yet. For the recommended items, at the start of the quest, just some stamina potions and some weight reducing clothing, and at the end some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill various different basilisks. So having a mirror shield would be quite helpful. Now do note there is a weak basilisk that you will need to kill at the very start of the quest. So bring along maybe a weapon to kill it as well as your mirror shield. Then you will also need to have a untradeable Fremenic shield. Which is either dropped by Dagonoth on Waterbirth Island. Or you will either need to bring along 150,000 GP and some Roan Throne Axes to go to an NPC inside of that dungeon to get it from him. But if you have a Ring of Karos A from the Garden of Tranquility quest, then he will give the shield for free. And then also what is recommended is about 5 empty inventory slots at the start of the quest. For the teleports, I will be bringing along 2 to a Lunar Isle. 2 to the Mountain Gamp, I will be using the Slayer Ring. Or you could also use the Fairy Ring code AJR. Two teleports to Releka, I will be using a scroll of redirection, and one to any bank. Now for step zero from this quest, let's talk to Escaladon or just claim the pet rock. Step 0 0.5, enter the long hall and trade Thora the barkeep and buy two kegs of beer if you don't have them already with you. After starting the quest, we cannot buy them from her anymore. And that is already step zero. So let's start this quest by going to the long hall of Releka. And let's talk to Brenta Chieftain. Select option three and then one to start the quest. Next, let's run north. I will now need to go to the sand pit. South of the Sandpit sign, they will find a house. Enter that house and talk to Grain Gert. After speaking to her, we will need to search the Sandpit just north and it will spawn a Comet 53 Basilisk. Be sure to equip your Mirror Shield and kill it. Once you've defeated the Basilisk, it will drop a letter. Pick it up and read it. Next, go a little bit west and there will find some rocks. Search it to find a fang. Then go south of the house and you will find some boxes. Search it to find venom. Next, give these items to Gregard inside of her house. Next, we will need to return to the Chieftain. Alright, let's talk to Brent the Chieftain. Select about the investigation, which should be about two or three. And after speaking to him, we will need to talk to him outside of the town. After the cutscene is over, let's exit Releka and follow the dirt path eastward towards the Slayer Cave. Somewhere just north of that path, we should find Brent the Chieftain. Let's 
let's talk to him. And after a very long conversation, we will need to select every option. And which in total should be option 1, 1, 2, and then 3. Alright, since we now know what to do, let's uh, first get our untradeable Fremenic shield. So, let's uh, return to Releka. And there are two ways how to get it. Either you can kill some Dagonos in the Waterbirth Island dungeon and just keep killing them for an uncommon drop of the Fremenic shield, or make your way deep into the Waterbirth dungeon all the way to Badur and he will give it to you for either for free if you have the Ring of Karas or 150,000 GP. Either way, I will see you on Waterbirth Island. If you want to follow me, I'm going to Badur, because I don't really trust my RNG in this game. Alright, so once you've reached the Water of Birth dungeon, let's run a bit east and let's run to the gates with uh, the throne axis. So since you already have gotten your pet rocks, I'm gonna drop it on one of these stones, then stand on the other tile. This should open the door or just click on the door to open. Take your pet rock and let's continue further. This shouldn't really be that bad. Once you've made it to the dungeon sign, let's equip our throne axis, use a special attack, and use it on the western door. Then climb down, down the iron ladder. Use protect from magic, be sure to do that first before you die. Then use protect from ranged. Keep going east. Then go use protect from melee and run south. Go down this ladder. And usually we will now need to go all the way west to go to DK's or the Fremenic Medium Diary. But this time we will need to go south. And in every single room there will be some Dagonos. So pray ranged or melee. I guess melee will be better. Just keep following every single room until you've made it to the end, and there you should find Badur. When you've made it to him, equip your Ring of Keras and talk to him. Select the Charm option, and he should give you one for free. Next, let's teleport to Lunar Isle, and let's go to the bank. North of the bank, they'll find Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is the magic shop. Go inside of the house and talk to the store owner. Select option 3. And after the conversation is over, you will get some Molten Glass Eye. Next, let's open the door and let's return to Lunar Town. I will now need to go to the Lunar Mine, just like in the Lunar Diplomacy Quest. So, exit the town and go northeast. Use a bit to protect from melee. And go to the mine. Climb down the mine, and we'll now need to get three lunar 
ores, which is just in the first room west. Here on the stalagmites. And they are located in the first room west. Just mine some stalagmites until you have three lunar ore. Once you have these, let's teleport to the lunar isle once again. And let's now run towards the astral altar. Be sure to have your molten glass eye as well as 100 astral runes to be able to make item number two out of four. Use Molten Glass Eye on the Astral Altar. This will make Lunar Glass. And let's now teleport to the Mountain Camp. So I will be using my Slayer. I will be using my Slayer Ring. And once you've made it to the mountain camp, we will now need to go around. We will now need to go south of the lake, close to where the elite clue step is located. Alright, south of the tall tree, there should find Ragnar and a large geyser. Inspect it and select option 1. After the conversation is over, let's teleport to Raleka. I will now need to talk to Pier the Seer. So, Pier the Seer is located just south of the market. A little bit southwest, in front of the big building, talk to Pier this year. And once the conversation is over, while we're here in Raleka, let's go a little bit further west to the furnace sign. Use your lunar ore on the furnace to make three bars. And once you have these, use these on the anvil to make a V sigil. Next, let's exit the town. Next, let's exit the town. I will now need to go to Fasa Grimmen, the one that enchants your liar, just like in the Fremic Trials quest. Once you've made it to Fossa uh, Grimmen, click on the strange altar to summon and select option 3. Once we have this, we have the V Seagull Enchanted, which will be item 3 out of 4. Let's get item 4 out of 4 by going back to the mountain camp and going back to the large geyser. Geyser, 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 right? What is it? Geyser. What? Geyser. It's a geyser? What the fuck is a geyser? Geezer. 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 What the fuck is a geezer?
So apparently it is called a geyser. Equip your ice gloves and inspect the large geyser once again. And this should enchant your pet rock maybe. A polishing rock. Alright, this will be item number four. Use any item on each other and this will bake the V shield. All right, let's now teleport to any bank to prepare for the battles. We don't really need anything anymore. Yeah, I'm just gonna be dumping everything. First, what I will need is my Rleka teleport, as well as my V shield and 650 coins. Aside from that and one empty inventory slot, you can choose whatever you want to bring along. I'm gonna start with some combat gear, weapons, potions and food. Alright, that should be about it. Food, armor, weapon and potions to kill various monsters, 650 GP, the shield, one relic a teleport and one empty inventory slot which I will be opening up soon. Now there is a possibility that you might also want to bring along a super restore potion because the basilic monster has a chance if you fail to drain a lot of your stats. Alright, so since you're an exile you can't really buy your beer in relic anymore. So what you now need to bring is 1000 coins and one Ardoin teleport as well as one to Releka afterwards. Once you've made it to Ardi, let's run northwest to Rosolo from the Desert Treasure Quest. Rosolo, give me two kegs of beer. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to Releka. And from here, let's run following the brown path, following the dirt path to Brand the Chieftain. Ah, uh, my stamina potion. Once the chieftain has left, let's return to the long hall in Releka. Alright, this is pretty Mendox, I... Once back in the long hall, let's talk to Brent the Chieftain. And this will be the start of our first battle. Which is a pretty easy one, very similar to the other master quests or the Guant master quests. There is another big battlefield. What we'll now need to do is attack every single basilisk that is currently being attacked. Because once they are defeated, we will get some favor points. Once you've done some damage, just move to another one. There we go. Also be sure to attack the big ones because they give 10% while the small ones only give 3.3. There we go. And then you. And then you. And you.
Alright, this will be the final one for 100% defeated of Basilisk. Uh, let's follow the arrow on our minimap and take that boat. This will take us to an island. Once we're here on the island, just go north to the dungeon sign and talk to Brunt the Chieftain. And he will say that we will need to unlock the door to get to the final boss fight. So let's uh, enter the cave and this will be the mastermind puzzle. So what we'll need to do is click on the boxes below and then click on go. For the best way to start is always one, one, two, two. You will get something random here on the side. For me, it was only one red one. If you get one green check, it means that one rune in this sequence is in the correct place. For me, I only get one red one, and red means one rune in the sequence is correct, but it is currently in the wrong place. So what I suggest you to do is go to like DuckDuckGo or Google or whatever search engine you want and search for Mastermind Puzzle Solver and then just cheat your way on it. I'm just going to take my first link. And so I selected 1122 and what I've gotten is just zero greens and one red one. So now I'll need to write something else. What if I go for two, three, four, five? What then? Then there's one correct. B, C, D, E is apparently one green and zero red. So I guess the water is correct. Then I will just change this to all plus one. That are two of those. So if I do the B, D, E, F, that will now be one green, no, two red, which means zero, two. There are solutions now. I have a couple of solutions apparently. You can only do this once you have done three. And for me, there are four options apparently. So I'm just gonna be going over these five. So for me, first it was D, F, D, A. What the hell? D, the final one. D. A. So apparently DFDA apparently for me means zero green to red. What else do I have? I only have one more solution. Woohoo! So let's uh F E A and then E B C D E. So this should be, yes, all right, all hail to the mastermind puzzle solver. All right, the door has been unlocked. We can now enter and start our first cutscene, I guess, as well as our first boss battle. Uh, the first boss battle is the demi-boss Typher, which is here, the Eastern Basilisk, I guess. For the first 50% of its health, we will need to use Protect from Melee. 
that's about it. If you're using melee armor, I guess the best way is to just use protect from magic and just tank everything. And that's really it. Just use protect from magic if you're using melee gear and kill it. For the second boss fight, which is against the German Ant, he has two special attacks. First, when Brun says something about facing away and your screen will turn red, immediately click away somewhere. Just click one tile behind you and face away from the boss. Second, if you're frozen, you will need to click repeatedly to be able to break free. Aside from that, just keep using Protect from Magic. And that is about it. If you die, you will be able to get all your stuff back for 50k at the entrance of this dungeon. But you can also just teleport away at any moment during this boss fight. The screen turns red. Just phase away. Is the quest completed once you have defeated Jormungand? This will be the final cutscene. And congratulations, you have completed the Fremenic Exiles quest. You will be awarded with two quest points, access to the Island of Stone, ability to create and equip the Nadis Not Face Guard, a Fremenic surname, 15,000 Slayer experience, 15,000 crafting experience, and 5,000 rune crafting experience. Alright, this was my quest guide, how to complete the Fremenic Exiles quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. I didn't bring a teleport. Okay, thanks, bye.